Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we're going to have a look of course at a couple matches. I'm so sorry for not posting videos in the last couple days but I was terribly busy with, well, with the kitchen basically. So um, let's have a quick look at those two matches. Very interesting ones in my opinion. So, very first thing, uh, well, the prediction of the lineup, of the opponent's lineup, was somewhat, um, somewhat true, I would say, uh, in the sense that the lineup was basically the same, and uh, the fact is that I was not ex um, expecting them to be this good in terms of. Uh, in terms of performances but as we saw these four guys one two three and four were incredibly good and we were not actually able to outperform the opponents at the in the midfield so i'm sorry but this time we've got a loss with us one thing to say is that we were able at a certain point to put the opponents under pressure they had um a disqualification actually not even the best defender of theirs but still uh we could put them under pressure and right away we scored two goals so uh and you will see the ne the following match you will have a look at the following match afterwards and you will see this is somewhat uh, a good and positive uh, pattern. Let's have a look at the stats. 55% ball possession and I am pretty sure this happened mainly after the opponent's disqualification uh, with uh, 13 shots for us and 6 for the opponents, 7 shots on target for us and 4 for the opponents. And what is very worrying is the fact that they could score three goals out of five, no, sorry, out of four shots on target. Uh, we were playing attacking, very attacking, actually. Um, this is what put them under pressure. But this is what probably led to this kind of score because our goalkeeper, of course, is a good goalkeeper, but the opponents had very, very good strikers, as we saw uh in in the lineup video on uh, wednesday so yes but that was somehow somewhat uh lucky in a certain sense because uh, one of the opponents was disqualified but at the same time it was quite unlucky because had the match last uh i would say 10 more minutes we might probably have been scoring the the one more goal and we might be talking about a draw but that's uh we'll we'll try to better manage that in the future so five set pieces against five so quite well balanced one yellow card only so i'm very satisfied with uh with our players performance this time Hopefully Vinera will not be disqualified too many times this season because the last, uh, the past one was just horrible. And so all in all, I think we've had a somewhat good performance against a good uh, team, against good opponents. So I am somewhat satisfied with this match. Not fully because I was probably expecting at least a draw and we all know that the team needs it right now the beginning of the season is always a crucial moment to make the points that will uh, help towards the end of the season to get to um, to the safety threshold so to say in terms of uh, point amounts this time we were not able to make any points but we um, but I but well we've had some some positive uh, signs and omens this time 
So that said, let's go <clears throat> over to the next uh, to the next match, which is this one. So we had a very bizarre lineup, uh, and I truly wanted to have a video done of this. Uh, choose making, uh, sorry, choice making process. But um, what I thought was that it was basically useless to outperform, to try and outperform the opponents on the wings because they have good wingers and they know it. And this is why they exploit, uh, they exploit them so much. At the same time, the wings are the less dangerous parts of the pitch because from the wings you can basically cross. You will, uh, well, most of the time, it, you're quite unlikely to be able to shoot from the wings. So I thought, all right, they're very strong on the wings, so it's just pointless to uh, try and, and outperform them on the wings because we would not be able to. We don't have the players to. What we can do instead is try and uh, outperform them in the middle of the pitch where we would be well, we would also be more dangerous because we we could shoot from all over the place basically here. So what I thought it was, let's try and outperform them uh, playing in the middle. And this is what we did. It was just pointless to try and counter them on the wings. Uh, we would have badly lost. So we were attacking. The opponents, of course, were playing on the wings. Uh, well, we were playing short passing in order to try and exploit all of this room they left for us to play around. So, the score, the final score was this one. And we've got the three points this time. With a very well balanced ball possession because of course the opponents were very strong on the wing. So, uh, I am sure they've had a very good ball possession on the wings mainly we've had um anyway a good ball possession and we could shoot way more times despite playing despite not being able to outperform them at all on the wings uh that's what i wanted to um well that's what i wanted to exploit and now this is what you can actually uh, see in the flesh so we have we were able to explo to exploit the most dangerous part of the pitch which is the middle the center of it and uh, of course we shot 11 times against three five shots on target against two five set pieces against one so all in all we have basically outperformed them um, nearly everywhere it was a hard match we've got four yellow cards the opponents got five and two red cards so and this is what changed the match again same pattern the opponents lead one zero we put them under pressure they've got one disqualification we're able to score we keep on putting pressure on the opponents they've got one more disqualification and we can score the two uh the two most important goals so the ones that will get us the the victory this is what hopefully we'll be able to expect for the rest of the season at least against teams who of course are strong because there's no wake team at least uh, there has been no wake team um within this league so far but uh, if we could find a few uh, teams with one wake point like this one that we can actually exploit like this time, then we'd be able to to make the points we need to get uh, up to safety and away from the relegation zone. Let's have a look at the, uh, the league. Mm, well, we are at the beginning. Only two games were played by all of the teams here so it's not so the meaning of this uh of this board is nearly zero but uh 
we might probably have some more interesting indications in the future weeks so guys um thanks a lot again for watching i uh, wish you all guys i'm sorry for being late uh an immensely merry christmas and uh see you all in the next video where we will probably have some tough decision to uh, to make uh, some tough choices to make because this this league as i said at the very beginning of the season will not be an easy one well this season will not be an easy one thank you again and see you in the next video bye